What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be going over the scooter. We're going to be talking about what is it and how do you go about practicing it. The scooter is a mechanic that is primarily used for deception and puck protection. Although it may look like a complicated mechanic, it is actually quite simple. Now simple does not mean easy and the scooter is definitely a more challenging mechanic. But after this video, you'll be well on your way to executing it like a pro. All the scooter is, is a 10 and 2 plus an outside edge roll. That's it. We see that really nicely here with Heesher. He first opens up into a 10 and 2 with both feet pointing away, then rolls all the way from his inside edge to his outside edge. The key to the scooter is really that front foot outside edge roll. You want to fully turn your boot over to the outside edge and get really good outside edge wide angle and lower leg outside edge wide angle. What this does is create an outside edge hip wall, where your hip acts like a wall shielding you from the defender. The progression to adding a scooter to your game is 1. Get comfortable with the regular 10 and 2 in an infinity flow pattern. Then you can progress to a corkscrew to 10 and 2 in a linear pattern. And once you're comfortable with that, you can eliminate the corkscrew and just do the linear 10 and 2 like we see with McDavid. From there, you have the first and easy part of the scooter. The hard part is rolling to your outside edge. For this, you want to work on your outside edge rolls in isolation, building up the feeling of turning your boot over from inside edge to outside edge. My recommendation is take it slow. Remember, this drill is not about speed, it's about feel. I also suggest filming yourself from a front angle to really see if you're getting on that outside edge. Once you're comfortable with the linear 10 and 2 and the outside edge roll, Take those feelings and combine them into the scooter. Now although you can go through the entire progression, it also doesn't hurt to just give the scooter a shot and add the progression drills as needed. And of course, make sure you practice on both sides. The most common problem with the scooter is players either not rolling to the outside edge or thinking they're on their outside edge when they're not. And that looks like this with Byfield. So he does a good job with the 10 and 2, but rather than roll to his outside edge, he stays on the flats of his blade with barely any Y angle or lower leg Y angle. Compare that with Hughes' Y angle and you can see there's a major difference. For this, I simply recommend filming yourself from a front view to see if you look like this or you look like this. The second test, if you can't film yourself, is to look or better yet feel for your arcs. So a good scooter will take you on an S-like pattern just like this where you travel on this arc while on the inside edge and then turn the opposite way once you get to the outside edge. That's where the deception component comes in. But if you never get on your outside edge, like Byfield, then your arc will look more like this, where you travel in a straight line. So in both cases, whether you can see that you're not rolling to your outside edge or you feel that you're traveling straight, you want to regress back to the outside edge roll. If you want to learn more about the mechanics of the pros, including the outside edge roll and the 10 and 2 and their progressions, consider becoming a Train 2.0 member. The link to that will be in the description down below. The last step of the scooter is for the more advanced players, which is to do it in a figure 8 pattern. Doing a full 180 turn out of the scooter will really challenge your ability to roll onto your outside edge and move in that S-like pattern. Watch how Jason goes from almost max inside edge Y angle right away to outside edge Y angle without ever traveling straight. So there you have it, the scooter made simple. Let me know your thoughts down below and as always, like and subscribe to help support and grow the channel. I'll see you in the next one.